Good afternoon and welcome to the Domestic Cup semi-finals with the Nigel Martin Fault in the background in our brand new Subutio room on Game of the Day. Game of the Day. Coming up today, we've got Aston Villa against Dynamo Nubbins coming up for you. But first of all, we've got our game of the day with Chelsea against Burnley. Now, predictions, Christopher? Two games, semi-final, unbelievable coincidence. Unbelievable coincidence, That's indeed. happy coincidence, that, it leads in, anyway. Uh, Chelsea and Burnley? Well, Chelsea's uh, narrow victory, uh, bitter twisted, uh, over Leeds United last, last time, um, gives them some momentum. Burnley... Hot and cold, really. Uh, very robust playing style. Uh, I, I think I fancy Chelsea. I fancy the, uh, uh, the London team. Well, without further ado then, let's go down to the ground at what should be a very, very good tie. And welcome to the Dynamo Arena, better known as the Division 1 Arena, for the Domestic Cup semi-final with Burnley playing Chelsea. Two Division 1 sides, this should be a really meaty game. Chelsea though, Petit plays it across. Wise knocks it across. Chases the ball. Burnley try and clear, but Wise with a big tackle. Dennis Wise moving forward, lines himself up, shoots. Tom Heaton tips it wide. Now it was a splendid move across the midfield there. Burnley now though, coming forward, quick break. Rodriguez shoots, and it's a goal, it's 1 0 Burnley. Rodriguez chipping Cudicini. No, no one marking him. You can't leave space like that for a striker of that quality. Chelsea now coming forward. Oh, there's an advantage here. The, the defenders touched it when he shouldn't do. Chelsea now coming forward. Good Johnson lines up. Oh, and he can't. And he's gone for the ball and he's missed it. Still playing forward though now. Chelsea still pressing. Shoots. Oh, it's just wide. Plenty of chances being created, but they need to do something. They need to convert soon. That's a lovely ball across. The sword is so well to get to that one. Shoots. And Tom Heaton strong again. Chelsea now coming forward. It's been all Chelsea is this half. Knocking the ball around, control the ball, shoots, oh and it's just wide, that was close, Chelsea coming again now, oh it's easy for Heaton to get to, you must think though now for Chelsea, time is running out and they're going to have to convert sometime or later, ball knocked forward, oh and he can't quite control it, but the ball moving forward again, Chelsea now with the ball into the box, oh saved by Heaton from Hasselbank. Caught a goal kick taken short. Cudicini managed to control it, controls it well. Ball played upfield. It's a little bit of a tussle, but they get the ball back. Chelsea coming forward once more. Controls it, blocks him off. Passing it amongst themselves. There's five players now with Chelsea with the time. And, oh, and the Burnley defenders made a mistake. It's advantage play on. He's touched the ball, and it's not his right in possession. Shoots, and he's nestled in bottom corner. He's one all, and it looks like once again Chelsea are going to penalties. Well, will it be third time lucky for Chelsea, or will Burnley topple them? First goal, first penalty, first goal. Chelsea scores. Burnley now, scores, lovely finish. Chelsea scores again. A solid penalty. Oh, takes it well. 
Oh, good goal. Try to keep it, didn't move. Oh, great finish again. The last penalties. Burnley converts, pressure on Chelsea. But what's this? Cudicini stepping up. He's been the hero in the last two penalties. Shoots out. What is he doing here? He's taking a penalty. Who gave him permission to do this? He shoots. Oh! And he's backfired horribly. Heaton saves. Tips it away. Burnley go through. Burnley are in the final. So that Heaton consoling Cudicini, but he's going to be delighted. He's looking down at you, sir. <laughs> so we're messing around with the angles in here because we've got a different room that we now put the stadium oh, in. Oh, don't be so obtuse. <sighs> oh, well. Ooh, yeah, you're, you're, you're feeling very cute right now, aren't you? Okay. So, you look very cute, isn't it? Cute. Some good goalkeeping. Chelsea had two or three good chances, uh, well saved, uh, but no real commitments, I didn't feel, in the final third. And arguably, talking point of Chelsea's season, Carlo Cudicini, I mean, he's brought in for Kepa as a Belaga. Yeah, yeah. I can't think I said that right first time. Probably haven't. Yeah. But he's seemed to turn their season around, really, playing really well between the sticks. Has had a recent paint job to make himself look like an actual kid. Yeah, he does. And it. since then, he seems to have got a bit erratic. I mean, he's done okay today. He's been hero, zero, to hero. Zero. And then zero again to finish off. I mean, yeah. he's gone up to take the fifth penalty. Why has he done that? He's feeling... Who's let him? Who's let him do that? He's who, feeling... Who has let him? feeling him? competent. Confident. And competent. And competent. Clearly not competent, but feeling confident. Is that the manager's decision? Has he just fancied the penalty? But maybe as he said, I mean, the team and let him do that, maybe he's the train, who knows, but is he setting himself up for a fall doing that so early on? Well, the fifth, the crucial fifth penalty, particularly at that uh, four all, at uh, five four, he misses the penalty, game over. Semi-final place, and Christopher the final beckoning but Christopher netting all five penalties as well that's that's, that's unheard of that's incredible incredible um, normally a bottle job but uh, clearly today was the day the day yeah. Yeah. or Dynamo Nubbins let's head down to the Division 1 arena and let's find out let's head right down Now, who'd have thought that I got this far? Dynamo Nubbins versus Aston Villa. Two Division Two teams meeting at the Dynamo Arena. The Dynamo crowd, the uh, have maybe having the home advantage on this one. The stadium purpose built for their custom team. Will it pay off though? Aston Villa coming forward early. Controls the ball from the edge of the shoots. Oh, he's absolutely thundered that one. Slow motion replay, the, the goalkeeper didn't even move, I don't think he saw it. Nubbins now though, coming forward, shoots, Corbett has scored, it's 1-0. The crowd are going absolutely mad. Look what a finish that, the keeper didn't even move. Goodness me, you don't get that very often. Burns running into the home fans, they're celebrating and he must think he's put them with one hand on the cup. And Villa coming forward, oh was there a foul there, referee with his play on, Villa have scored straight by Jack Grealish from midfield, it's 1-0, straight past fair, he's outstretched out, there's nothing he could do there, and he's, oh my goodness me, it's 1-0, look at that, the Nubbins, fans, the Nubbins players are furious with that, they think that they've been, there's been a foul with, on Peacock on the build up, and it's, but the referee is worth play on. Carl Booth though with a big run down the midfield, not much one for expecting shooting boots from him. The goalkeeper thinks about trying to block it. Oh, it's again! Oh, he scored that! The tightest of angles, and he's nipped past it and nestled it bottom corner. What a finish, Carl Booth! Now that's one for the books. You don't expect that from the man. And Villa now kicking off. They look raring to go here, so Nubbins seems to have dropped back a little bit, stuck five at the back instead of three. Villa though, moving the ball across, shoot! And it's a goal! Michael Bryan's chipped the goalkeeper! He's absolutely smashed that! 
I don't think there's much to keep could have done about that one. It's a wonderful goal. Look at that. And he's returned the favour from earlier. He's in the crowd. He's in the away end. This game's really heating up. Oh, Villa could have got three. What a save that is, holding his ground, deflecting that round the corner. Oh, he's got hold of the ball there, so nobody's with all burn shit. And it's off the bar. Oh, that could have been the third. He's gone, he's absolutely thundered that, and it's smashed off the crossbar. This game is wide open. Villa now with the last chance. Moving the ball around, there's no defenders really. Is it unmarked in the box from a corner? You can't do that. Shoots! Oh, and it's a save from the goalkeeper. Nubbins now, what can they do here? They've got one last throw of the dice. Spink shoots! Oh, and it's saved away by the keeper after a deflection. And that's it, it is penalties. Another penalty shootout. Both semi-finals being decided with a lottery. I wonder what the players will be thinking for this one. It's such a heartbreaking way to go out if you let wrong. Witten now. Captain of Dynamo Nubbins brings the ball forward. Eyes up the goalkeeper. What must he be thinking? Well, I don't know what he did think, but he must have ice running through his veins because that's a great goal. Grealish now steps up for Aston Villa. Shoots. Oh, that's lovely. Oh, that's lovely. That's right into the corner. Spink now. Gregory Spink converts. Love the goal. Villa now. Shoots. Oh, he's in the bar. He's in the crossbar. Look at that. The goalkeeper's ecstatic. Oh, the Coburns has missed. Coburns has missed his penalty. Look at that. He's absolutely devastated. What a game he's had as well. And Villa level it up. It's level. Shoots all oh, great goal by Peacock. Oh, that's a good finish. Here we go now. Shoots. Oh, well placed. That was nice. Fifth and final penalty before sudden death. What must the Villa player be thinking? Shoots, it's a good finish. And fairly the goalkeeper lines up, shoots, nestles it into the corner, trademark side. Heaton now. Oh, that's a lovely penalty, right in the top corner. Ah, that's a good finish. There's several penalties now, we've been going through everybody. But something, something's got to give. Oh, he has! Villa in this! The goalkeeper stood his ground and he's tipped it over. Over the away from the goal and nothing to throw. They've run to the crowd, they've jumped in there, they're absolutely ecstatic. They're going to the final. Gone, what a season it's been for them. Burnley await them. Wonder what will happen next week. What a game we will have in store for you. So, big chair, little chair. Big chair, little chair. Big chair. Look, Chris. <laughs> How many shoes I was there, unable to sort things in normal time. Incredible, I was ready for my tea. To the second one, he's getting... never finished, would he? No, 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 no. Who knows, maybe it has to go through it in the end. Well, let's... <laughs> well, let's let's talk about the... Uh, let's talk about it. Yes, let's talk about probably two hearts. First of all, Carl Booth's goal with five minutes ago in the second half where he ran through and beat the goalkeeper to it. Unexpected. Unexpected. I mean, yeah. Have you ever seen so much pace from the man? Have you ever seen better time? I don't think you know. No, I just not work that no, way. We've had that this season. Yeah, We've had yeah, that yeah. job this season. Yeah, Aston Villa's brought responses both times. Straight, straight just, that yeah, place. one nil, one all, two one, two all, just straight away. And then the second half, we're really in it. Um, yeah. Must, you know, You'd have favoured them. Yeah. Favoured them in normal times, you think? Lots of pressure, lots of people in, in the opposition uh, third, but no real finishing touch. Just last minute, um, just bad touches, really. Just poor effort in the final third. Otherwise, the game would have been sealed, signed and sealed and delivered. Huge, large, over large. Exciting, exciting. exciting. Small. Exciting game coming up then. Oh. Next week, we've got the FA Gotti Domestic Cup 
Final. Final. And uh, it's Burnley versus Dynamo Nubbins. One point of contention um, that uh, at the end of the Villa Nubbins game, uh, it was proposed that rather than penalty shooter, again, we play next goal wins, uh, albeit a change of rules mid season. Um, I thought it was a good idea. So in the final, should we do that in the final? Who wants to see all those penalty shooters? Let's let's do it in the final. So in the final, if there is a draw, the game will continue. Who thought on it? Who's going to vote? I propose <laughs> that we have a, a next goal wins should it be a draw at full time. I second that, and that's two two votes to none. So we have a choice. <laughs> <laughs> it's a dictatorship, Christopher. Not a democracy. So. Yeah. Yeah, if it goes to if it isn't decided in the normal time, it will be next goal winners for the final next week. Join us, what will be a massive, oh, I forgot it. Be huge. It'll be a great game. Let's go with great game. Yeah, who's it? And maybe you know, that sort of me. Yeah, right, it'll, it'll be a great game. Yeah, I need my haircut too. Could be the uh, the solo haircut again. It could. <laughs> 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 we'll see how that goes right yeah. well thanks for tuning in again I've been David I've been Christopher and we shall see you next week for the final I've got a big chair I've got a small chair big chair small chair <laughs>